This, this is, is Moonstalker, Dead Place, place Walkthroughs. It was Dead Dead Dragon, Dragon Age Origins. Age Origins. I am listening. Never, Never mind. mind. <laughs> I still got it. So what, what are, are you leaving, leaving for? Go, Go get, get her. her. Don't you know anything about women? You gotta make them wait. Play hard to get. Might as well rest up while I can. You ready to go? Let's go. Aye. All right, then. Thank you so much. This, this is about Naren, I assume. Yes. You led me to an Naren. You persisted, even though I was sure all you were going to find was a dead end. It always feels good to get resolution. I will never be able to repay you for what you've done for me. Finding an Naren allowed me to bring that chapter of my life to a close. I feel free. A great weight has been lifted off my heart. This moment, it feels like the moment before the sunrise. When all the world is still, holding its breath, waiting for first light, I can stop thinking about my past and look forward to the future. Thank you, my friend. You will always have my gratitude. Whoa. There you are. <laughs> I was thinking, we've been through a lot together now. We're like old war buddies. So I figured why not invite you to share a drink, huh? A drink from my own stash, my family's recipe, and dedicated to my comrades in arms. Finally, I get to taste Ogren's famous brew. <laughs> yes, the warden steps up. You handled that like a champion, my friend. <laughs> Most impressive. How do you feel? Was there even any alcohol in there? <laughs> That's a <the> spirit. <laughs> I, uh, I just wanted to tell you, after all we've been through, you're like family to me. Closest thing I've had in years. I feel, I feel the same, same way, Augie. Oh, Warden. I do believe I'm getting all misty-eyed. But that could be because those beans are getting chatty, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, do you want to talk about something? Nothing, Nothing for, for now. Aye. All right, then. I don't want to get, get some distillation potions. Or, yeah. yeah. And, and some concentrators. concentrators. Beef up my poisons and healing potions. As there is but one world, one life. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts.
What can I get you, stranger? Let me, Let me see, see if you, you have. have. Right, I'll show you around. What can I get you, stranger? Right, I'll show you around. Dwarven craft. Fine dwarven crap. Wrecked for more than mine. Fighters. <laughs> okay. So be it. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> so be it.
teach you. Yes. Vashadan. Yes. Fast and damnation. Yes. Might I offer you a bit of advice, my good friend Alistair? I like my hair the way it is, thank you. Truly. As you wish. Though my advice is regarding something else completely. It has to do with your recent... Exertions with your fellow Grey Warden that I overheard. My... Oh. It did seem as if you just got going when all grew quiet. You are feeling all right, yes? Uh, perhaps you're tired. We aren't talking about this, are we? Did I hit my head? I have some roots from home that you may chew if you need energy. As for volume, perhaps you ought to try arching your... Whoa, whoa. Awkward. You Ferelden's are so finicky. How will you ever learn how to pleasure each other unless you talk about it? Not listening. La 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 la. Indeed. My friend. My love? It's you, the Grey Warden. Andraste is mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. What's, What's happened? happened? Where's, Where's everyone? everyone? They all fled to the castle this morning, before the Dark Swan arrived. I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here, but it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. She, she gets get to safety. safety. I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again.
It's all right. I'll get on it. My lady, you're here. Thank goodness. Did the Darkspawn get, get into, into the, the castle? castle? Some did, yes, but we were able to close the gates and kill the ones in the courtyard. I was told to watch for your arrival, Warden. Your comrade Riordan arrived just ahead of the Darkspawn attack. He has urgent news for you. Wait, Wait I must prepare. In the old Darkspawn for now. There might be stragglers, but you seem to have taken care of most of them out here. That's rather remarkable, really. What I really, really wanted, wanted to say was, let, let me leave these things, things and I'm going to castle, castle with you.
I was told to watch for your arrival, Warden. Your comrade Riordan arrived just ahead of the Darkspawn attack. He has urgent news for you. Take, take me inside. inside. There, there must, must be, be no, no more delays. delays. I should take you to the hall right away, my lady. They'll be waiting for you there. Kind of melodramatic. It's a relief to see you unharmed. And you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. The darkspawn that attacked Redcliffe were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. What? Are we sure about that? I mean, if that's true... I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. Then we, then we need, need to march, march at once. once. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her preserve us. But we can't reach Denerim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. I agree. I agree. We've, We've collected, collected an, an army. army. Let's, Let's use it. The Horde must be defeated, but the Archdemon is our true target, and only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army we've collected here gives us the chance we need. Al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. Then we're off to war. Let's do it. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. That would be appreciated. Then if you and Alistair could meet me before you retire, we have Grey Warden business to discuss. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. I stand here staring out to the east, and I can feel it. I suspect that you can too. The suit was a little heavy, wasn't it? I am referring to the Archdemon. <laughs> that is what your people call the Great Beast, isn't it? As if it weren't enough that one of the most noble and terrible creatures ever to be spawned of our world should be twisted into something so unnatural. I cannot imagine what we shall do once we encounter it. Do you have a plan? The plan is to kill it. I see. Brilliant. Thank you. If you will excuse me, I need to meditate to gather my strength, if I am to be of any use to you come the morning. Good evening, Grey Warden, and good luck. Thank you very much. And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Clorad sent their men, or haven't they? Eh, stalling. Which is as good as a no. House Clorette's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally, they're pleading the need for self-defense. Huh. Fine time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... Ah. Evening to you, Grey Warden. I didn't realize you were still up and about. Is there a problem with the Dwarven forces? Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the darkspawn all on their own, I suppose? That's exactly the kind of half arse thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to go to Orzammar when you did, Grey Warden. For all that a surfacer needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. Carry on, man. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way to go yet. Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. Good evening, my lady. It is an honor to meet you.
How was everything, everything in, in the, the castle? castle? There was some groaning after the men received word about the coming race to Denerum tomorrow. But nothing serious. I think many are uneasy about facing the Great Horde. We will be outnumbered, it is said. But we have no choice. There are thousands of innocents in Denerum. My own family is there. We will save them. Don't worry about that. Thank you. You can't imagine what a relief it is to hear you say that. There seem to be a large number of guards here. We are concerned that dark spawn assassins might be sent into the camp to harm you or the king. No doubt you could defend yourself from such an attack, but we would prefer you to rest easy. For a few hours at least. How do you feel about the coming battle? I am not certain. On one hand, I yearn for the capital to be defended. There are so many lives at stake. But it feels as if we are rushing to our doom. Do you truly feel that we have a chance of winning? Of course we will win. I hope you are right. I will pray for it. Good evening, soldier. Of course, my lady. Good luck to you. What a full guard. Oh, oh then, are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? Let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. I'm gonna get that Morgan still. Enchantment? Just want some enchanting done. Enchantment!
There you are. Let's go see what Riordan has to say. There you are. Let's... You're both here. Good. You're new to the Grey Wardens, and you may not have been told how an Archdemon is slain. I need to know if that is so. You mean there's more to it than just, say, chopping off its head? So it is true. Duncan had not yet told you. I had simply assumed. Tell me. Have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? I assume, I assume it has something, something to do with the paint, paint in us. That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn. But should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. It doesn't, doesn't sound, sound very healthy. healthy. A Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning... 
the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon dies. Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. Then I will take that final blow myself. It warms my heart to see such courage. But do not hurry so to sacrifice your life. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march, then. I guess this ends soon, one way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. Something you need, my dear? I'd like, like to, to discuss, discuss something, something private. Well, we're not exactly alone. Yes, yes we, we are. What did you have in mind? Oh, oh, but what about our audience? You don't think... Oh, never mind. One public display of affection coming up. Do not be alarmed. It is only I. Morgan, is everything, everything all right? I am well. Tis you who are in danger. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed, and that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. And how do you know about this? I know a great many things. How I know is not quite as important as what I am offering you, however. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. Just what, what sort, sort of ritual is this? It is old magic, from a time before the Circle of Magi was created. Some might call it blood magic, but that is but a name. There is far more to fear in this world than names. And from, from where, where did you get, get this ritual, Morrigan? From Flemeth, of course. I have known about it for some time. So you knew about the sacrifice for Riordan told me. I did. Would you have believed me if I had been the one to tell you? Sure. I have my doubts. Then tell me more. What I propose is this. Convince Alistair to lay with me here what? tonight. And from this ritual, a child shall be conceived within me. The child will bear the taint, and when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. So the child becomes a dark spawn? Not at all. It will become something different. A child born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away. And you do not follow. Ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. How do you know this will work? This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. This does not surprise you, does it? Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What uh, is important is that I am offering this to you now. 
It will work, and it will save your life. Wait. Wait. I, I want to know, know more about, about this child. child. As you wish. The child, the child won't be hurt, hurt, will it? Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. It will be changed. Will the child be evil? What will it become? Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. What do you intend to do with this child? I do not wish to tell you. I insist. I need, I need to know what she planned. The child will represent freedom. For an ancient power, a chance to be reborn apart from the taint. Is that not reason enough to do it? I will raise the child apart from the rest of society and teach it to respect that from which it came. Beyond that, you need know nothing else. What, what if Alice wants, wants to see the child? I have no doubt he may, but he will not. It is all I ask for in return. I see. Enough, Enough about, about the child, child, then. Then you have decided? Why, Why Alistair? Why not Riordan? Riordan? Even if I thought Riordan could be convinced, he is unsuitable. I need one who has not been tainted for long. It must be him, and it must be tonight. You actually think Alistair will agree to this? If you care for him as you seem to, you will convince him to. Consider what the alternative might be. Do you think Alistair will fail to do his duty as the future king and save his country? And if you take the blow instead, he loses the woman he loves. How do you think he would feel about that? <laughs> I think you have many good scared. reasons to tell him to save his own life. I think you should consider them carefully. All right, I agree. I'll do it. A wise decision. I shall wait here then while you go and speak with Alistair. I urge you to be convincing. I see you can't sleep either. I also saw Morrigan outside your room earlier, and the look she gave me. Oh, that was icy even for her. Is something up? Yes, she told me something very important. This is what I get for becoming king. Everyone always brings you the bad news. So what is it then? Rats running amok? Cheese supplies run low? I can take it. What, what if, if I, I told, told you that there's a way to avoid, avoid dying, dying tomorrow? You mean with the Archdemon, right? If you mean running away, I can't do that. But you don't mean that, do you? What is this about? I need, I need you to, to take part in a magic ritual. Oh, something Morrigan cooked up, no doubt. <laughs> what do you need me to do? You need, you need to, to sleep, sleep with her. <laughs> Cute. This is payback, right? For all the jokes? But you're not joking. You're actually serious? Wow. Be killed by the Archdemon or sleep with Morrigan. How does someone make that kind of choice? <laughs> you're not actually asking me this, are you? What kind of ritual is this, anyway? I won't lie to you. We will produce a child. What? I... I must be hearing things, but are you telling me to impregnate Morrigan in some kind of magical sex rite? This... this child... Why would Morrigan want such a thing? Does she want an heir to the throne? I think, I think she, she wants, wants to make some kind of old god. Oh, well, that's so much better, don't you think? Here I was, worried about creating another bastard heir, and I didn't even consider that it might also be some dragon god, whatever. Look, even if I was willing to entertain this idea, and I'm not saying I am, is this really what you want me to do? Are you sure? Persuade. You need, you need to, to trust, trust me. Trust you? I... Very well. I do trust you. Oh, 
Where is she? Let's go and get this over with before I change my mind. <laughs> Would seem your talk is done. Great. This isn't a dream after all. What is it to be then? Has a decision been reached? Alistair has agreed to your request. Wait. I want to ask about this child. The one you want. Interesting. Honesty wouldn't have been my first choice. I just want to be sure that you're not going to use this against Ferelden. That this bastard child of mine isn't going to show up some year. Of that, you have my word. <sighs> oh, why don't I feel any better about this? <laughs> All right. Let's just get this over with. Let us go somewhere more private, Alistair. And believe me when I say you will not hate this quite so much as you believe. He better. <laughs> We have gathered all the forces we can. The Darkspawn Horde is sure to reach the capital before us. And so we must race to Denerim as quickly as we can. The lives of many thousands hang in the balance. We must not forsake them. You have gathered an army to replace the one lost at Ostagar, Grey Warden. Let us pray that it will be enough. Before us stands the might of the Darkspawn Horde. Gaze upon them now, but fear them not. This woman beside me is a native of Ferelden, risen to the ranks of the Grey Wardens. She is proof that glory is within reach of us all. She has survived despite the odds, and without her, none of us would be here. Today, we save Denerim. Today, we avenge the death of my brother, King Caelan. But most of all, today, we show the Grey Wardens that we remember and honor their sacrifice. For Ferelden, for the Grey Wardens! Yeah! 